once you've figured out what your taxable income is, it's time to calculate your tax. In the United States, for our personal income tax, we have what's called a progressive tax system. Let's take a look at how this looks. Here's an example of a tax table from 2023 for single filers. Every year, the tax rates, income brackets, and tax owed is voted on and approved by the House of Representatives and adjusted for inflation and other political factors. This, these are the numbers that were voted on for the 2023 um, tax year. The taxable income brackets and amount owed is going to depend on your filing status. So there's a separate table for each different type of filing status. I'm going to be focusing in this video on the, sing the single filers, but notice that there is its own um, table if you are married filing jointly and the amounts are different. But the process of how you use the table is the same. There's a single filing a married filing jointly, married filing separately, as well as a head of household table. So make sure you choose the right, um, the right table when you're trying to do your tax calculations. These numbers here are the tax rates, and sometimes you'll see them, you'll hear them called tax brackets. Let's suppose that you make fifty thousand dollars last year. In this case, we would look here at our taxable income brackets and figure out where 50,000 lies. It is not in zero to 11,000, 11,000 to 44,000, not quite big enough, so we'll be in this next category. Uh, $50,000 lies in here between 44,726 and $95,375 of taxable income. What we say is that someone in this category, so my $50,000 earner, um, is in the 22% tax bracket. So does that mean that they're paying 22% on all $50,000? The answer is actually no. And that's where this idea of a progressive tax system comes in. If you notice here in the 22% tax bracket, it says that we want to pay $5,147 plus 22% of the amount over $44,725. Well, where did this number come from? This number comes from progressively using these earlier tax calculations. So if I made $50,000, I am going to have paid 10% of the first $11,000 that I make. Now, if I pay 10% of the first $11,000 that I make, I'm going to be paying $1,100 for the first 11,000. That correlates with this. And notice that that $1,100 is the number that's here in our second tax bracket, in the 12% tax bracket. Now, I'm making $50,000. So I've paid 10% on the first $11,000. I'm going to be paying 12% on the next bunch of money that I make. So in this case, if I find 12% of, this is going to be everything between $44,725 and $11,000, And that comes out to be $33,725. So I'm going to be paying 12% of this amount only. In this case, that would give me, if we times that by 0 0.12, $4,047. So I paid 10% on my first 11000 On the next 33725 I paid 12%. And now I'm up to the 22% bracket. Notice that if I add the 1,100 and the 4,047, what I come up with is $5,147 from these previous tax brackets being applied. So I've paid 10% of the, the first amount of money, 12% for the next bunch. And now what I'm going to be left with is just paying 22% of the amount that's over 44,725. So in this case, I'll take my 50,000 and subtract 44,725. Pull out my calculator here, 50,000 minus 
5,275. And that's how much I'm going to be paying 22% of. So 22% of that last $5,275 is going to be $1,160.50. So this is the last amount here. So if I'm going to figure out my 22% tax bracket, I remember I'm only paying 22% on this last amount, but we still consider myself in the 22% tax bracket for this value. Uh, so it's going to be $5,147 plus 22% of the amount over 44725 So that would be my $50,000 minus 44725 And when I do that, I end up with $6,307.50. So if I had a taxable income of $50,000, I would owe $6,307.50 in tax. So again, the, the, this idea of the progressive system is that you're paying smaller percentages for less incomes, and then it's going to be adding on to that as we progress our way up the table. Uh, we don't have to do these calculations every time because they've done the calculation of maxing out everything so far. So, for example, if you get down here to this 30,700,104, we we've maxed out the 10%, the 12%, the 22%, the 24%, and then we're only paying this 32% on the amount over this income here.